Dr. Jaffe, how does vitamin C actually treat infection, decrease oxidative stress, increase phagocytic excuse me, activity, increase collagen resistance to collagenized enzymes released by pathogens? and direct bacteriostatic or antiviral activity? Very interesting question. The answer is yes. Yes to all four parts. And so yes, ascorbate has among its many mechanisms of action, mechanisms of benefit in the human organism, reducing oxidative stress, increasing phagocytic function. Remember the innate immune system likes to surround, engulf, and bring inside itself to a lysosome, to a recycling uh, center within the cell that breaks down whatever is foreign, the digestive remnant, <clears throat> excuse me, the infectious agent, uh, the spore, whatever is foreign to you should end up in a phagocytic cell's lysosome, get broken down to its building blocks, and used by the body to rebuild itself. And yes, it does turn out that collagen is more resistant to collagenase, the enzyme that uniquely dissolves collagen and that many bacteria produce. That unique collagenase enzyme works well when the cell is in a high oxidative, acidotic mineral deficient state. So if you lack ascorbate and therefore the oxidation reduction potential goes up to favor the foreign invader, to disfavor the cell. The answer is to increase the reduced, 100% fully buffered L-ascorbate based on the C-cleanse so that the collagen can be preserved or repaired quickly if a collagen molecule gets degraded or digested by collagenase, then a fibroblast or a granulocyte or some wiggly dendritic phagocytic cell should come by and say, oh, you need some new collagen. Here, I'll give it to you because I make a lot of it. Why? Because I'm so energetic, because I have my ascorbate and I have my magnesium and some zinc. And yes, it turns out that ascorbate is directly bacteriostatic and virostatic. How do we know that? Well, we know it from the laboratory, where if you just put different amounts of ascorbate in cultures with different bacteria or viruses or fungi or parasites, the foreign invaders do not like it. And there's a whole philosophy, it comes out of Goethe and Steiner, that says, if you knew the specific organism that the person was hospitable to, the one that they were feeding, the one that they were allowing to grow, either in their digestive tract and produce uh, toxic matter because of a lack of healthy prebiotic, probiotic, and symbiotic materials, or might have gotten into you because your mucosal um, secretory IgA and mucin production and other elective protective molecules that healthy people produce to make sure that they don't get invaded by digestive remnants, that they don't be hospitable, that they're not hospitable to what's going around. It turns out, for example, we get exposed to the same amount of different viruses almost every day of the year, but at times of stress, including seasonal change, that's the time when people are more vulnerable, and that's the time when people say, ah, something's going around. If I'm hospitable, I'm going to catch it. Well, I would change that phrase to, yes, things are going around, and no, you don't have to be hospitable if you'll choose an adequate ascorbate based on a C cleanse, and of course, a fully buffered, fully reduced L ascorbate, and keep your urine pH after rest in the 6.5 to 7.5 range, and take more magnesium plus choline citrate. Perk Mag Plus Guard, along with percolin citrate, enhances the uptake, uniquely enhances the uptake of magnesium, and then delivers the magnesium to the cells that need it. Magnesium is very important. It balances out calcium, does lots of good things in the body, but it's been hard to get in, and it's tended to run out as fast as you got it in. So we want to get the ascorbate in because of all of its beneficial effects. And by the way, there are more good things that ascorbate does. But yes, the answer to your question is yes, 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 and yes, which on a multiple choice exam is unusual.